God bless you. Greetings, everyone. This is Elaria Dunlap Jr. coming on to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, on the desolated written word of God. Let's get right to it. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God that is now set on the right hand of the Father according to Scripture. I want to deal with the question I've gotten several times. Let me get it. This question comes from YouTube. This comes from a pastor. I'm not going to call his name. But his first name is Kenneth. That's all I'm going to say. He says, this from Pastor Kenneth. He said, read for yourself, Mr. Dunlap. Go to the person that you have office alone. Practice what you preach. You don't know, go to him and him alone. I've got, got several. I've got several letters like that from all reformations. He would say to God in Christ. Say the Bible says you to go to him and him alone. And, and, and Pastor Kenneth just told me I need to read the Bible and go to him and him alone. Well, let me educate you. Let, let me educate you with Bible. You don't know the scripture. You go to him and him alone if if he transgressed against you personally. They go directly go to the book of Matthew. Matthew, the 18th chapter and the 15th verse. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go tell him his fault between he and thee. This is personal. Between thee and him alone, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take unto thee one or two more. That in the Bible, two or three witnesses, every word shall may be established. And if he did let to hear them, tell it to the church. If he did not let to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen in public. This is talking about a personal thing that my brother did to me. In Luke the 17 chapter speaks about how many times shall I forgive my brother. <laughs> well, seven times, or seven times seven. DJ, if your brother repent, forgive him. I mean, rebuke him if he trespass against you. Rebuke him if he repent, forgive him. Now let's go to Galatians 6. Which, uh, uh, I, I want to show you exactly what the scripture said. We ain't laying out these false prophets. No scripture tell me to lay out the false prophets. For if I lay off them, you will be deceived like you are now. <sighs> Galatians. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I want Galatians 6. Let's see exactly what the scripture said. Galatians 6 and 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in the fault, ye which are spiritual with such a, restore such a one, in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest I also be tempted. Those are two different things, two separate things. Now, Ephesians 4 and 11, well, go to Matthew 7. See what Jesus said to do about these false prophets. You don't even know scripture. Matthew said 15, look what Jesus said. Beware of false prophets will come to you and she clothed. Jesus said, Beware. If you got a dog, I say that's a dog there, beware. That's a snake there. Beware. 
There's a trap there. Beware. I'm not laying off you false prophets. The, the scripture you gave didn't tell me to lay off false prophets. You don't know scripture. Go learn scripture. You didn't know, but now you know. Several had came to me right there. You both go to him and him alone. Then they talk about that. They say, beware false prophets. So I got to show you a false prophet to let you know what to beware of and show you why he's a false prophet. You understand. Get somewhere and learn scripture. You don't even know scripture. Don't know scripture. Say let the false prophet alone. For when the mark of the beast, when the beast get here, you got to take that mark. So I can't, I, I can't say nothing. Beware of him, can I? Jesus said, beware of those that come in my name. Beware of those that say, Lo, Christ is over here. He, he told you what to look for. He said, beware of those. I'm telling you, beware of the false prophets. You ain't got no scripture to say, leave the false prophet alone. All right, now you know. God bless you. Thank you for viewing. Get somewhere and read the scripture. Write the divine scripture. All right, that's enough. Thank God. God bless you.